Now, a U.S. think tank says North Korea's submarine-launched ballistic missile program will still require several years of testing before reaching an actual operational status. It's also been said that the North's ongoing efforts to develop its missile program reflects the regime's plan to try, at least, to neutralize the THAAD system. Kim mo Gyun tells us more. In a report read in a day after the North tried unsuccessfully to test fire another submarine-launched ballistic missile, U.S.-based North Korea monitoring website 38 North said it's possible Pyongyang will launch the missiles more frequently as it attempts to perfect that technology. The report, written by John Schilling, an aerospace engineer at the Air Force Research Laboratory, said North Korea's increased pace of testing its mid-range Musudan missile means their missile development is not limited only to the SLBM program, and even with frequent testing, more attempts are likely to fail over the next few years. On Saturday, North Korea conducted yet another SLBM test from the eastern port city of Shinpo that broke up or exploded at an altitude of roughly 10,000 meters. The launch came just 24 hours after the U.S. and South Korea confirmed the deployment of THAAD, an advanced missile defense system that could intercept North Korean missiles to South Korea. Because of this, North Korea's latest attempt is seen as part of efforts to overcome and neutralize the powerful defense system. Kim Mo-gyun, Arirang News.